I am a big fan of clams. Number one, they are delicious. Uh, they uh, are, are mighty fine to eat. You can do a lot with them. But um, I also like them because they are, by and large, uh, sustainable. We've learned a lot about uh, aquaculture in clams. Um, they respond very well, in fact, uh, to aquaculture. But then you can also just walk up and down the beach and dig them up with a rake if you feel like it, um, which is, is nice. Um, but they're, they're relatively low impact. Uh, where they are um, raised or farmed, if, if you will, uh, is usually on, on sandy or muddy bottoms. Uh, so they can be uh, planted there, because literally you, you raise them, uh, the little larva separately, and you put them in a little nursery, and then you move them to the site and plant them, like planting crops. Um, and, and they grow, and you harvest them, and you don't do a whole lot of uh, damage to the uh, habitat, not long-term damage at least. So from a sustainability uh, standpoint, these are critters that we ought to be eating. And you can get them in a lot of different market sizes. So they're, they're not like, say, you know, a, a particular kind of farmed fish where you're looking for something this long and this heavy. Uh, clams come in all, all shapes and sizes. I think most Americans have a lot to learn about clams, and we need to look to New Englanders uh, for inspiration because uh, they've always eaten a lot of clams, and, and they're very, very good at it. Uh, they know all about steaming clams. They know all about eating them raw. Uh, I prefer them over oysters, uh, off the just out of the shell. Uh, of course, they're very good with with dealing with larger um, examples or quahogs, as we call them, and chowders and things like that. So there's there are a lot of surprises for most of the country, except for the uh, those tricky New Englanders. They they pretty much know everything there is to know about clams. So that's where we've got to look for inspiration.